Hey, good morning to a good friend of ours. Uh, Sue Woody is joining us from the Des Moines Public Library. She is the director over there. And Sue, we have some great news because you guys just received a whole bunch of money. You're going to be doing some really cool things with, aren't you? We are. We are so thankful to the Afternoon Rotary Club. They have donated $40,000 so that the library can buy a new Rotary Rosie Reader Van. Not easy to say, but so <laughs> important. <laughs> the Rotary Rosie Reader Van is going to be That's purchased it, you got here. It. Now, where's the Rotary Rosie Reader Van going to be going? It's going to be going all over Des Moines. We can't wait. Once that weather's better, we're going to go out to parks. We're going to be going out to, to our fellow nonprofit agencies. We'll be going to schools. Everywhere that people are, we need to go out to where the people are. Let's get them signed up for library cards. Let's bring them some story times, have some rosy reader visits with our big furry pink mascot, and just have lots of fun out in the community. That is really neat when you have the ability to do that and having a new van is going to make that even easier. Uh, but, you know, this is the time, you know, people are on winter break right now, and we just want to remind everybody of all the different options uh, that the library has for families because people don't realize how many different avenues you can go, you can go down, right? Yes, there are so many things, even though we're super sad that our, our doors are still closed, but there are so many library services that are still available to everyone. Let's just start with our curbside service. Put some books on hold and you can go to any of our locations and we'll bring them out to your car or put them out through the pickup window. So just put some books on hold and if you don't know what to Pick for yourself. Let us do that for you. Now, Sue, so I'm going to ask you about that. You said put some books on hold. Is there a, a menu, so to speak, where people can go look at the menu? Oh, sure. We've got so much available on our catalog, dmpl.org. Just go there. and We've got tons of reading suggestions, but we also have a service called Book Bundles and Book Chat. And that's where we're going to help you find what you might be interested in reading. Just let us know what you love or let us know if you have a, a third grader who's really into ballet or a, a toddler who loves dinosaurs. And we'll just put together a whole big book bundle for you. So, you read them. We'll check them out. We'll, we'll get them to you. So tell us about the virtual yeah. program you have, the weekly virtual program, and that's going to be going on through the winter break too, right? Yes, we've got lots of programs. We've got lots of weekly story times. But remember, if it's on Facebook or on YouTube, you can actually go back. We've got all of our pro virtual programming archived. So you could even go back. We recently had an avid author visit, Kate Quinn. You can go back and, and access that. So they're, they're accessible, either archived or live. Right, and there's no question that uh, I know the Des Moines Public Library being on top of things, people are really reading a lot, reading a lot of books, but they're reading them on their devices, and you have an option for them to have those digital books downloaded, right? There are so many products that we offer that are available virtually, whether it's downloading something to your phone or your computer, any of your devices. The Libby offers ebooks as well as e-audiobooks and e-magazines. So if you are traveling, first of all, travel safely, but also bring an ebook with you. Let the whole the whole family listen to it while you travel. So that's our Libby. There's so much on Libby that's available. But we also have another product called Canopy, and that's where we're streaming videos and music and, and um, concerts. There's so much available virtually. Snuggle up with your family and download a movie. There's lots of children's programming on that as available as well. All right, tell us about your STEM kits too. This is really neat. This is super neat. They're wonderful STEM kits. They have different activities with different themes. Maybe it'd be, it'd be wild animals, maybe it'd be space. Lots of STEM activities. They'll have a book, they'll have puzzles, they'll have activity sheets. They may even have some puppets and lots of different things in there. And so check those out. It's in a big, kind of a big Tupperware tub. So you can spend lots of hours with our activity, STEM activity kits. But we also have something called library learning bags. And that's going to be available on December 28th. Drive through any of our curbside pickups and pick up a library learning bag. The theme of this bag is fairy gardens. How fun is that? That's going to be happening on Monday, the 28th of December. Monday but now we, we, we want to talk about something else that might get people's attention. I want to make sure we mention about what you're doing about overdue fines for kids and teens oh. that might have some materials out there. Kids, listen up. You're going to want to listen to this. So give them the great news. 
The great news is that the library has gone fine free on all children's and teen items. We've even lowered fees, light, late fees on adult items as well. But we know that people are hurting this season. People are hurting all year. And we know that fines can create a barrier for some kids. And we want everybody to read, but mostly we want those kiddos reading and the teens reading. So we have eliminated all late fines and we have actually taken off all of the previous late fines if they're already, you know, preventing some people from using the library. That is awesome. Now, people want to go to the library. You're obviously not allowing browsing, but people can still use the computers downtown, right? Yes, downtown we have library um, internet computers by appointment. So just please make an appointment. We'll be happy to help you with that. And we know that people need to still apply for jobs, communicate with their loved ones, check their emails. So there's so many important things and we hope to offer that soon at all of our locations in the new year, just as soon as it is safe to do so. All right, Sue so Woody, you have yourself a very happy holiday. If people want to get more information about everything we talked about today, where can they go to get all the things we talked about? There is so much available on our website, dmpl.org. Please visit there, call us and come into our curbside services. Thank you, Sue Woody. You have yourself a great holiday. Thank you. All Thanks right. so much. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. She is awesome. There